Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the VConfiz channel where today I actually I do have something to show you guys. I'm not completely out of ideas of YouTube videos because I have a pretty insane strategy, or not necessarily a strategy, but kind of like a mental thing where I like kind of figured out how to play this meta better. Uh, I got a drop back to gold one like last night and I was like, you know what? I'm definitely doing something wrong in this meta. So I had to figure it out. I had to like think about it. What I was kind of doing wrong, it's kind of a mental shift, and it's kind of like a paradox when I'm telling you guys through YouTube uh, the stuff that I'm figuring out as I'm learning this game because it makes, like, it helps you guys improve at the game because I think uh, some of the things I'm finding out you might not have learned yourself, but maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but that's fine. If you haven't, I'm, I'm stating more learning upon you and you're getting better at the game. But that just makes me have to face against better opponents, which is then going to have to have to make me find new strategies and new techniques and different stuff. It's just everyone just gets better. Uh, but <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works. But last night I was got down to gold one. And I was like, you know what? So I'm not doing something right. I got to push back up here. I got to get back to champion. And it pretty much as soon as I got back gold one, I was like, I thought about it for a second. And I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? And immediately I started pushing up. I didn't lose a single game after I started doing this. And all it is, is placing down, or not necessarily placing down, but using the, using my troll slingers as my tier two card. So basically, before I start doing this, I would go, let's see, where is it? Not necessarily this game, but as you can see here, I'd go like, uh, what are these people? Rifleman, uh, as my tier two offensive card. And I use them mainly and I would kind of abandon my troll slingers. But my realization was troll slingers are kind of good in the meta right now. They're kind of OP. And uh, they kind of beat these riflemen. So I might as well play troll slingers because they're better than riflemen. Tier 2. So why would I even get riflemen? And then I've been able to save some mana tier 2 off of not getting riflemen. Here I did go riflemen um, <coughs> against this sorceress. And the and the Hammer Warriors, I was a lot up in that game, uh, which is why I went that. But like this game, for example, I didn't go uh, any Rifleman at all. I get save 40 mana off of that. And that's probably the only reason I got to win this game. Getting me back into champion is I didn't spend the extra mana getting my tier 2. And I was able to spend my tier 2 and things that countered what he was going to do, i.e. getting the... The Rocketeers and the Frost Mage against his Harpies. Now, I do want to say before this game gets too intense or anything, thank you all so much for support over the last few videos. I really do have appreciate it very much. So, 55 subscribers, that's insane. Thank you so much. And I do have a little promise to make for you guys right now. If, <laughs> if I get to a thousand subscribers right now, you can subscribe and do this too. So if you subscribe right now and you're help me get to a thousand subscribers, right? That's that's a far ways away. But if I get to the thousand subscribers, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do a okay, I don't wanna say full on 24 hour live stream right now, but it's going to be close. It's probably at least 12 hour live stream. Uh, at a thousand subscribers, you know? And I'm saying I'm gonna say like, you know what, okay. Eventually I probably will get a thousand subscribers, right? But I'm saying like in the next I don't know, let's say six months. Six months, okay? If I get a thousand subscribers in the next six months, which is insane, that's a ton. I would never expect this to happen, which is why I'm making a ridiculous claim. I will do a 24 hour stream of me playing Castleburn and chilling out with y'all. A 24 hour stream if you, I get just a thousand subscribers. The only way that ha that ever happens if you watching right now, this seeing this video, is you subscribe right now, right here to this channel, and make sure that you continue to watch it to increase my watch time. And right here, I made a little mistake. I didn't even notice this before, but I should have placed a, uh, a camp right here. I think I already thought I placed a camp here, which is why I never placed one. And for some reason, when I was playing this, I was like, yeah, I, I, I didn't think, I thought I had already placed one there. And when I saw this Marauder over here, I thought, on this bottom right side, I thought the Marauder had taken down my camp, and then I put up my second one. And I was like, oh my gosh, how could I have forgotten that? But we are, we're behind in this tier two. I don't know if you guys noticed this. I had, I knew that we were behind on the tier two and <coughs> I'm perfectly fine with this. This guy can literally play whatever he wants. The only thing I'm going to be down on is that this guy, yeah, goes harpies, which is totally fine with me. I've been kind of, I'd be honest, I'll be kind of behind this game. I haven't been 
particularly making great plays. I haven't particularly been ahead in mana. And yes, I'm ahead in mana right now at this moment. I haven't gotten my two cards yet. I haven't gotten cards placed down. And this guy's playing pretty aggressive. But we can see here, I have my counters now. I, I was a little bit behind on my tier two, and that's fine. You can be a little bit behind on the tier two. You can't be a whole tier behind. That's not going to work out. But you can be like about 10 seconds, 20 seconds behind on that tier two and still successfully play this game out like you'll see here. Because now I have the counters. I have the counters to this. I have my Rocketeers, and then I get Frost Mages. Because this guy's going Frost Mages, and I might as well go Frost Mages myself, slow everything down, allow my... Uh, Goblin Rocketeers to really do a lot of damage. And this guy's coming in with, uh, oh my gosh, what are these calls? No one ever uses them anymore. Oh my gosh. Spear people, that's what we're going to call them right now. We're going to call them spear people. I'm still spamming out my troll slingers as well on the bottom because I can't let this guy start to place down his <coughs> rifleman or sorceress, I guess he gets. I thought he had rifleman for some reason I was playing this game. I didn't realize he basically had all air. But still, his Frost Mages do a ton of damage to me, to these Rocketeers. And I need to have ground troops to kind of deal with this situation where if he places a Sorceress or something, I need to have the Troll Slingers to be able to take those out. But see how these Troll Slingers are able to do so much damage against these Sorceresses. And they literally, they're so, they're so good. These Troll Slingers, they're going to be just putting in so much work. A Sorceress probably takes two shots to kill a Troll Slingers. And three Troll Slingers probably takes... Uh, one rotation or two rotations to kill a sorceress and it's so value it is so strong as you can see one at the end there one troll slinger hit like a third of the <coughs> of the sorceress's hp but anyway returning to this idea of using my troll slingers and an advantageous on tier two and not really using rifleman as my tier two card here I'm gonna show. Hmm, what game should I show? I guess I guess I can show this game. I don't really remember. I don't remember all of these games that well. I'll play this game. This guy wasn't as very high on the ladder, so <coughs> it doesn't really highlight too much. But I guess it's just highlighting more the fact that you don't have to get that tier two, and then you can play aggressive. This guy is going to be using the sorceress and ogre combination that a lot of people have been using, and. Right here, I'm getting my tier 1 cards, right? But the, my tier 1 cards, I think of as a tier 2 card. So it's fine that this guy is getting tier 2, right? It's fine this guy's getting tier 2. I'm behind. Okay, I'm going to be like 30 seconds behind this guy. <coughs> it's going to be a major problem for me if this if he went Harpies. But honestly, since he didn't go Harpies this game, as I, you already saw what he went, I'm going to have such a good game against this guy. Uh, we're going to be taking positive mana trades against his... <clears throat> against his Vikings and right there I got a camp down he did get a nice fire pillar out and wasn't like amazing or anything it wasn't like a great positive skill uh, still trade we're about the same in mana I'd say nothing really too special I am a camp up though which I mean yeah it's not the biggest of deal but he's not gonna be able to get the sanctum up anytime too soon he's gonna have to get two camps down so I basically have a little bit more pressure on this right side. And as you can see, I'm pressuring both sides. I know he doesn't have that much mana. He's going to have to place his sorceresses, right? To kind of counter all of my troll slingers. But I know when I'm pressuring both sides, he never has enough mana to place down enough of these sorceresses to deal with every lane's pressure. Okay, watch this, this side real quick. Okay, he's, play he's placing Vikings real on, on the si right side here. Um, but I'm now taking on his left side as he pressures his right side he gets he gets his sorceress down right he, he plays a little aggressive here in this side but look he's, these two camps on this side he's never going to be able to get the sanctum down he's literally never going to get it i can get the sanctum i can get this camp i can get more mana than him and right here on tier two i'm just going to go i'm all i'm doing is i'm getting these frost mages because they're just slowing people down it's literally the only tier two card i need if this guy is not going to go with <coughs> If this guy's not gonna go rock, oh my gosh, what I'm saying. This guy's not gonna go harpies. I only need really a tier two card of these frost mages because it helps so much. Look, like, it slows down the troops so incredibly much. Uh, my my troll singers are gonna be able to take out everything uh, Thor is putting out on his side. See these sorceresses? They're they're gonna basically doing nothing. I mean, <clears throat> see here. It, so it takes like a rotation and a half of Trollslinger hits, and I'm already gonna be on tier three faster than this this dude. 
I was able to play it. Super aggressive. And now I get all my tier. I have all these slots for tier 3. I'm saving one slot for his counter still. And now, yes, he's pushing on this side, but he has to deal with this. And now it's just a matter of formalities right here. As I'm using my Valkyries to take a lead into this. I'm taking it far, man. I'm taking this lead far and far and far. Anyway, <laughs> that is going to do it for today's video. Using Troll Slingers as a bridge into tier 2 as your main tier 2 card actually versus the rifleman versus the sorceress and only really having to care about the harpies as a tier 2 card and using your uh, rocketeers as a counter to that so overall it's really good to play aggressively with those troll slingers and what so it wasn't I wasn't doing that before is what I'm getting at and if you do make it to the end of the video, I want to thank you so much for giving me that watch time. Make sure to like uh, if you want to support me more. You already have given me all your watch time. I've juiced it out if you're still at the end here. But if, if you want to help more than you already have by continuing to watch my videos, please do hit that like button. And I, you know, I, I am I'm running out of ideas. You know, I have, I have a few videos up in stock. I don't know if there will be a video up tomorrow. But I want to do a card ranking coming up some point. And that's going to take kind of a lot of work to sit down and write out all these cards and have the game open on one side and uh, get a Google Doc open and start start writing out these cards. But it'll definitely be possible, and I definitely plan on doing it. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But until next time, thank you all so very much. Again, the support has been amazing. And until next time, peace out.